not Kingdom Hearts level. I think my favorite Disney theme level might be the uh, Neverland one slash London, which would basically be the Peter Pan level. Oh wait, here we go, cutscene time. I also like how the game ends as it's Yeah. That's where the game started. Yep, come full circle. So Deathly Island seems to be mostly intact. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, this is just taking forever. <laughs> I lack community guys to do all of this, of course, to get the rap built again. Yep. I'll be like, are you kidding me? Yeah, not kidding at all. Oh my god, I don't mean to talk over this guy. Bruce sure is very important details and stuff like that. Darkness, yada yada yada. Yeah, yeah, the heartless. I get it, I get it. I'm a boss with you, it'll stop what you are. You are just, it's, yeah. You know, this isn't even Ansem, right? Because I'm pretty sure you just gave a spoiler, but this is technically not Ansem, right? Um, yeah. So, I mean, it's basically kind of like Moldwort in Book 1, where it's like, it's him, but it's not really him. Like, uh, he's even a proxy. Pretty much, bro. Well, that's just annoying. This is just real annoying. Take a look at this place. It's actually a different character from him. Yep. Wait, wait a minute. It was Ansem, though. Right? That was Ansem, right? Yeah, you'll play later. You'll kind of facilitate it, put, put it together. Oh, okay. Alright, sir. For now, I'll just call this guy Ansem, sir. I'm getting excited. He doesn't have the same voice actor in later games. They have a different guy. Don't bother. Yeah. Your voice can no longer reach you. Yeah, he was the your bad guy from Titanic. Yeah. Billy yeah. Zane is his name. Yeah, Billy Zane. Yeah. You gotta say Billy Zane doesn't voice him anymore. Oh, really? so different. I know, I feel like Billy Zane would want to come back to voice him the character again. Yeah, he's still loving it. So I'm just like, what? Come back in all honesty. I am... He always tells me the voice actor that the voice actor either dies or just doesn't want to come back. Right, or can't be back at all, obviously. Maybe that's kind of why I have to say that. Maybe that's true. Maybe, yeah. Okay, so that's not going to be this replacement thing. Oh, I was going to put his name up. Um, Alright, so you just go ahead and put the name up there. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for your time. It doesn't really help us right now, but, you know, that's basically what we're doing anyway. Oh no. So now he's doing his own Still over it. Grace is pretty important. It's a little Oh, he's got a stand. He has a guard to protect me. That's why I said Oh! I haven't seen some of these No. What part of the network characters is going really long? The multiverse. Uh, what's multiverse? The Cartoon Network fighting game. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, well, the other kind of thing is very fun. I'm writing the time. Like, the kind of actually got a bit of a purpose. The band's supposed to be on the ground and doing it. That's what I'm saying. 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 That's what I'm I mean, obviously, it's a good example of defying God, deities, and stuff like that. So, it's like, it's like, what do you think of the roots? I'm a Mr. Rain, it's actually clunker. I mean, I can't. It's more like a movie like this, but it comes in and stuff like that. But, but that's special, it's not going to have to be something like that. So, they're going to be like, five, five, nine, 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 five, Yeah, I'm just like, I mean, I know why they won't, it's because then they have to, you know, um, have to fill in more space, new enemies, and stuff like that. It's also probably because, like, he... Like, <laughs> right. Well, I mean... Oh, shoot, shoot. 
Well, I mean, that's what happens. It's like, I mean, I'm glad that I'm Jenny. I'm glad to play as, like, Jenny for my life. Well, how much do you remember of that show? Um, uh, I do remember it. Um, I didn't know how to watch it. It was more of a person. Oh, okay. So, I mostly liked it because it had... I don't know, everything that I kind of was looking for. There were some pretty creepy episodes, though, I'm not gonna lie. I don't mean, you watched Curse the Cowardly Dog just fine. No, 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 not creepy as in, like, <laughs> horror style. I'm talking creepy as in, uncomfortable. Like, like, this should not be in the show, period. Curse was meant to be that way. It was meant to be a monster horror film. He's in, like, well, that is monsters were actually real. I'm like, another cartoon dog. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, but for my latest Robot, it was more of a fucking Satsuki kind of style of letter. Like, it had, you know, it had its robots and it had its, like, uh, future, like, future again style robots as well. And, like, people that. Oh, hi, Derek. Oh, Derek said again. Okay. I think it's. I'll keep on this. Really? I don't know, I have. So, why is he. Oh, never mind. I'm not sure. I think there's nothing much about this. And it's just like, he appeared in the very beginning, and I honestly thought this guy was handsome, and apparently he's not handsome, and it's like, what? What makes total sense? Uh, what happened? It's amazing, what are you doing down here? Are you enjoying my thighs over here? No? Okay, let's get it. That sounds so wrong! That's the context! That's like, what are you doing? All you want to smash, and like, Oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah, that's not why you think I wrote it. Why do you think I wrote it for that episode? By the way, uh, I don't know when this, this this video will be released. Most likely it will be released soon. But long story short, for one of the uh, episodes here, this is a little bit of a sneak peek here, we, uh, we had a little scene where we needed a piece of paper, and it was supposed to be for a petition. And so I was like... Okay, what do I write on here? And then it's like, I don't said the line aloud of like, Waluigi wants to smash. And it's like, hey, I just thought, you know, that sounds like something that Waluigi would write down as a petition to get into Smash Brothers. And then it's like, it's like pointed out how wrong it was because he reminded me, oh my god, Smash nowadays means somebody who wants to do something intimate, most something else. Which Markiplier has totally gone to like all the Pokemon. Did you just sleeping over the vampire lady from Resident Evil? Oh yes, yes. Smash. Yeah, I like how some people got really comfortable with Mark's map, uh, obsession with the mystery. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I just want to do a funny gag in a later episode of Mario. I just something about the Pokemon looks kind of hot. I just Sonic being like some Mario that you see out in the world just goes, and you want to call you Mary the Chipmunk. Excuse me? And then show up back to the picture. That was Archie, that's not Archie. Not Archie. 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 If you did look at that Pokemon list, dark, would you actually go through with a video on the Smasher Pass? Like, would you pass every single one of them? Be honest with me. Uh, no, 
Oh my god. Do that now. Consider it my challenge to be my friend. To do all the Pokemon Smash or Pass. And you don't have to take it seriously. Like, we can even say that Smashing is more of a team. Like, let's just, 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 just. Because I know that not everybody is interested in doing that kind of action. But, like, let's be honest. I'm actually funny. I'm going to up if you don't play Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Like, if you see Dark Side go playing any video game, people will always put a playlist. I'm saying you say you don't play the game. I mean, that's, this is probably how I'm like, I'll be honest with you, though, like, I'm just going to be good at this game. I'm going to set on my first go. I'll admit that it's pretty impressive, but now we have to deal with that abomination. Oh my god, it's a strength! Ha ha ha. Super Authority beat you to it. It's decades ago, actually. Well, what's the decade ago? No, no, years ago, actually. And, uh... <laughs> no, that's true, I'm not sure. I mean... Oh, Alright, Sephiroth beat you too. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I remember Fossil's called for a Metzner Shrine to me, right? Oh my gosh, hot show. Oh my- We're talking about that! <laughs> 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 I mean, oh, right. <laughs> okay, okay. Fox is home for imaginary friends. Okay, 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 let's do this. Uh, so... I watched the movie when it first came out. And, like, for the new movie. Mm -hmm. And I was- I was kind of interested. I was kind of what this was all about. And it was like, just the idea your imaginary friend be in the real world and actually go and interact with the real world. That just sounds really good. And I mean, I don't know if you're going to take like any of directions, but it's like it's done in a very, you know, light-hearted, comedic, goofy kind of way. Very cartoonish world. Yeah. It's like, oh, that is kind of cool. And so I, I didn't look real enough, but I, I despise blue. That was the only reason why I couldn't get fully invested, but I was invested in well enough in order to watch a good couple of the episodes. I like everybody else. Max is cool, Sidney Frank feels cool, and Mr. Hobbs himself, I remember Eduardo. Eduardo was the best show. Will was cool too, I loved Will, but, but it's just blue, and I just despise him. <laughs> Way of a lot of this Exactly! Stuff. I wanted to punch him! I mean, it's not like you just encourage me to come up Yeah, but blue, blue for you to join the time doesn't. That's why you said funny your character, because he actually Moments. I mean, I, I mean, also, I was like, eh. I just didn't like Blue. I thought I would. I really, really did. But it's like, he, did, he couldn't grow on me. He didn't do anything positive or good. He was everything that Max would have been, but just bad. It's like, he was a bad influence. Kind of like, like Max in the new Maybe Max's mom was on to something where he needed to go. I don't blame her now. <laughs> I mean, it would have been hilarious if maybe they pulled up Blue's brother or something like that. Like, hey, see, it's right there, and we'll let it out! Yep. It would have been great if they actually had, like, maybe an episode where Blue basically needed to do something good, but thanks to his comments, he basically just gets into the trap. Like, this is Blue's brother. Yep. Or, like, we need to review Blue's brother's that makes sense. That would be fun. The Blue's brothers, in my opinion, is the number one way we could do, like, crazy comedy. Basically, how do you get away with making something cartoon cartoon in the real world? Blues Brothers got for me. Because, like, when I watch Blues Brothers, I don't get caught I was watching a cartoon. It's like, the way they have their mannerisms, the way they would talk, the way they were dressed. Like, so it's like, you know, God. Uh, you know, like, we are here on a message from God. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes! Yes! El Jake and Elwood. Jake and Elwood always had the sunglasses, which, by the way, that's a rule that many cartoon characters have. Whenever they have to find a feature, they never take those off. Like, take Mario, for example. Whatever Mario, like, he's in his every game, he's always wearing that red. And the only way to take him does it is when it usually requires to be out. Like, didn't you notice know that? Yeah. And then he's like, Sonic is always like, in his shoes. He always wears them. And a cartoon character would. And then he never gets it. So I'm going to just take them off. And when you do, it's usually a horrifying thing. Don't move outside. 
Don't do it, Mr. Zack. I, I think I might have. I don't know what you're man. Bitch, not me to the next universe. That sounds great. But yeah, anyway, to finish up with these brothers, um, I want to review that so badly. It's kind of like how to do comedy. And it's like, I think Blues Brothers is a good platform on how to do it. Everybody else is sad. Most of the time, I'm really like, I'm just kidding. 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 i am by the way, I still can't believe in multiverse you can actually have a fight with Batman and Tom and Jerry. I mean, you know, it would be actually really funny if even Batman couldn't catch Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> but not like not Superman can do it either. Like he dropped like a scene and still with Kryptonite. Not a mixer. Oh, man. Remind me again, DC Multiverse, uh, not DC Multiverse, well, it's Warner Brothers Multiverse. Like, yep. That one basically, like, it's a tag team battle, like two players fighting together or something like that? Yeah. Or is it like a party smash or like Smash Brothers is? Like, I think it's like, kind of like a comic book, I think. Okay, because that's what I was trying to get from it, because like, everybody was in teams of two, and I'm like, why are they in teams of two? Are they pulling a, um, uh, Street Fighter versus Street I think all the losses are just like, that's a bunch of characters who well, they haven't done that. Garnet has been in... I mean, Grant, I mean, like, DC characters. Oh, DC characters. Well, I mean, thankfully, it also far as I see, Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman. Which and Harley Quinn. Yeah, Harley Quinn. So it's like, that's a decent amount. And it's like, I don't know if they'll ever be... I'm still hoping for more country now. Yeah, I think it'd be nice. <laughs> like, I mean, but then you mean, mentioned a lot of boy courage. Or, I mean, Zim probably could actually fit very well in there. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, Oh, would be kind of cool to see. Oh, yeah, the brilliant Mandy. And would be kind of funny to see. Okay, all the kills were good. I don't know. they have to do Well, remember, I was in the world, and he was a pop He actually ate a slide in one gulp. Oh, well, well, there's that. I feel like it's like ridiculous. Okay, I guess that could work. Um, uh, we'll see. There are people also on the power pump girls. Oh, yeah. Great! I mean, I, I mean, they obviously make sense. They're super powered. So they, they can work. As long as there's no Teen Titans going in, I'm cool with it. Uh, get the Robin from Teen Titans then? The original one, yeah. No, I mean, if they did that, that'd be cool. Yeah, no, but they put, I swear to God, they put a team between the Teen Titans characters. I mean, what they could do is that they could have both Robin and Teen Titans go Robin, probably just call him like Toon Robin, like kind of like how we have a Toon Link. I don't blame him. Yeah, I, I don't blame him in the slightest. Uh. Oh my god, we're still going with the boss. What? No! Uh, I'm sorry! What's wrong with the boss? Why are you so negative? Uh, I just Black hole. Alright, it's like, it's what's kind of funny though, is that that's actually also their uh, designation, right? Like, they're, they're just called the tallest. As in, like, they are, like, you know. Isn't the, I believe in the Perkins, they. Yeah, and then they are called the tallest. Right, so therefore, the tallest, they work with height. How funny would that be then, if a tallest ran into Lady Demetrius, who is basically a tall 
And look, they'd be like, oh god, you're right. It's like if I basically their way of dominance in their society, it would make sense a tall woman like Demetrius could be like their like. Oh, the all over the diamonds. The diamonds are ginormous. They're 25 feet tall. Oh, I mean, white diamonds. The white diamond is like 50 feet. They, they would be bound to, to them like the great gods of just like Olympus. I mean, probably. They probably would see the Americans more as a means to an end, and when they outlive their usefulness, then bye bye. Because that's. Really not. You should. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, you can walk down in a minute. Yeah, I'm the biggest fan of the show. So, so. Yes. I gotta give up. Not that it's your scripture. Yeah. I mentioned that. I still do think that Bigger the Wire, I don't like Steven Universe, would be kind of a funny video to make. I mean, you also gotta be a little demon some parts. Yeah, I'm not gonna rush this video, I'm gonna watch the show again. Take notes. What are you doing in the heart? Yeah, it's like how I was making me fun for doing a follow up with you mentioning why you don't like Gravity Falls, would be kind of funny. I mean, I need Gravity Falls. Right, right, but I've only gotten caught up with the halfway point of season three, and that makes me feel sad because it's like everyone else is kind of like making some little fan arts here and there, and there's some little title cards here and there, there's like some out of context things, some little theories here. It's like I haven't seen it yet. I'm waiting for damn Disney Plus to catch up. Uh. And I don't have a Disney XD, and I don't have any other way of watching the show, you know, right now. And there's nothing on demand or anything of sorts. It's like, God, I love that video. I, I, I just love it. It has everything that I could go for. Because, like, it takes the trope that anime is working on right now, which is Isekai. You know what Isekai is, right? Oh, uh, no. Okay, so, remember Digimon? Yeah, I remember Digimon. Think that, but for multiple different shows with that same premise. A bunch of people basically being... Well, hold on, hold on. So okay. we're finally show on Kingdom Hearts. We're finally here. I can't... Don't give up. Come on, Sora. Together we can do it. Okay. Mickey finally shows up! Yeah, like, I think Dizzy mentioned they didn't want them using Mickey until. Well, they only wanted to use Mickey for only one scene. So that's why they picked the ending of the game. Yeah, Dizzy's like, you're all gonna roll our mascot for us. Well, I mean, that was the Mickey has a much bigger role in the other games. Right, and it's because. Not the official Mickey, it's quote unquote King Mickey in that like uh advertisement and like you know in merchandising and stuff it's like that. Like, this has got to look at a motion landing on the end of the line. It's pretty cool, but it's like, yeah, right, this is the end. I doubt this is the end. Yeah, no, it's like, it is pretty ballsy, they left off on a cliffhanger. They for the did, first they game. Did. which if, if the series didn't continue after which you would have to be pretty sure to send out. You know, Nikki and, uh, Oh, right now I'm going to be starting to edit for editing, uh, that. 
and also guitar, and that also solo, only solo ever, ever for uh, Sydney and Clue. Yes, and I'm also excited to do the uh, first two episodes of Smash Adventures. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, so tell me, what were your first reactions when you heard that cover for Sydney and Clue? Like, uh, I was really into it. I'm like, I want to make this the intro to season one. Yes, because like, mm -hmm. like, I kind of like figured out this one when I first heard the song. I was like. Okay, so basically we're going to do that with this plus series, at least in theory, and playing with the so How are we? How did you get all the way here? Oh, Kyrie. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take, I'll take a, you know, some of the readings here and just be, oh, here we go, I'm trying to fix everything. Alright, so it's about to play simply clean right about here. When they let go of it, when they, when they let go of their hands. Right, right, right. That, that, this, this is so pretty. I will admit, this is a gorgeous cut. And I think more free actually, it looks like that. The whole, the whole game looks like that, and that's, that's gorgeous. Wait till you see the toy story one. Alright. Here we go. Uh, just about to play. Yeah, that was that sound. And not just that, though, but it's like, for my Saturday, this is where we're going to start talking about, you know, like the anniversary stuff here. Because it wasn't before the like, Kingdom Hearts event to the Tonic Tower and what now? 20 years old now? So it's like, my nostalgia for this series is a shallow as a puppet. I don't really have much to look to this other than the commercials and the trailers. So it's like, there's always that one game that I never got to play it in what I wanted to play it in. Because it looked so cool. They had like, the Disney characters, it had this really nice music song going on, it had these awesome looking graphics. But Lo and behold, it was for PlayStation, and we were a Nintendo family at the time. We always focused our, you know, investment on buying a Nintendo console and Nintendo games, because that's just what we were. And so, yeah, I would be feel nostalgic for this game through the song Simply Clean. It's like, now I, I, just, I just like the song, and now so overall, what are your thoughts on the game? I think it was a very good game. It's a game that I, if I have a chance to do it, and I don't have a time, I would definitely sleep my time into this and play this moment. I would not complete this game yet. There's not, like, it, like I'm pretty sure uh, the complete test would have been like, it's fun to play, but completing it, it's a super great time. Because I told out from the foundation of our places that I'm not really, really looking for. The Coliseum is a little bit, like, monotonous. Whatever you think you want, you know, there's like certain areas and like people are like in depth behind going to other worlds. That was fun. I was like, eh, I don't know. Who could do that? And that's why the world is also very well. Story is like, the book? And it's not like, it's not like they thought it needed to be crazy and, and yes, and then, there's still a lot of work, there's still a lot of work over here. But I don't know if you can do it, but it's like, it's like, for now, it's still the first thing. It's actually well announced, but we know that the boy is trying to save the girl, and he's trying to save the girl, and now he made a promise to eventually one day, and he's back in there. And then they got it. It's going to take a whole year to get back. And it probably took a year for a second at that point. And then the world is 90 years old. We're finally caught up. We're on our death beds. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, so what about you then, Zach? What are, what are your thoughts on this game? Um, Five years later. I love it. I grew up with this game, and. Uh, I'm glad I had it. My uh, grandpa and my grandma got me a PS2 to play this game. Aww. Uh, but yeah, I think because I was like a Disney guy growing up, I started playing one of the plays too, because I remember my friend Lee actually had to stay time to play a little bit of a demo of it. Mm. And I just remember seeing all the Disney characters that I recognized in there, and I'm like, I gotta play this now. <laughs> I played the second one first, weirdly enough. 
Really? Wait, you played the Kingdom Hearts 2 first? Yep. I guess he must have been really confused when uh, Sora, Mickey, and uh, Sora, Donald, and Goofy showed up. The like, go ahead and pull up that little clip and just put in Zack's confused face. Who are you people? <laughs> Why not? Okay, but I mean, Sora just pops in in the middle of the game for no reason at all. It's like. Well, that was the first couple of hours. Like, and I was like, two hours too late. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, um. Yeah, I grew up, and then after playing King Wars 2, I decided to go back and play the first game, and I just remember being like, Oh, yeah, this one's a lot easier to follow. Mm. Now, when it comes to the Let's Plays for the future, do you want me to be in control, or are you okay with just me being your uh, foil to bounce off of when it comes uh, to I don't have any memories I'll play, because it's a much tougher game than this one, so... Oh, okay. But, I mean... I can't watch two, though. I'll be able to let you play for a little bit of night, mostly because it's a lot easier to control. Oh, okay, alright. So I won't be rage quitting as far? <laughs> nope. Alright, alright. I, I won't put that, sure. Uh, and then I think during the credits, they could show some epilogue from the world. God, I wish we could fast forward to this, but I mean, I guess we'll just we'll just wait here a little bit, and there's like, um, I think it's after the credits scene, that after credits scene, I think this is where when I will just simply leave the narrative back to you and just kind of like, I don't know, bounce off to the next let's play, which basically will be Mobile Suit Gundam. Uh, no, not Mobile Suit Gundam. Gundam Dynasty Warriors. Or it wasn't Dynasty Warriors. Gundam. I don't know. I'll probably double check the case. All that stuff, so it's like, I'm very excited for that next play, because I get to be the expert, and Zach gets to be the blind man. <laughs> I'm like a man who's going to the lion's den. Yeah. <laughs> I actually don't know if it's on this one video where this guy actually was petting a lion at a zoo. Oh, yeah. I was in the barn, the barn had bit it out, and I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. He actually got his hand out, though, like, when he got his hand out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, yeah, you better be grateful you still got that AM. Uh, yeah, that also reminds me, have you ever seen, this is both cute, yet scary at the same time, have you ever seen the videos of, like, our, like the scuba divers actually going into the ocean and petting sharks? Yep. Yeah, it, it, They look at that cloud and go like to Hollow Bastion. Oh, okay. That's I know cool. American Cloud reunion right there. Yeah, I love that. That was sweet. That was very, very sweet. So, I still also call BS though that for, uh, the Hollow Bastion is supposed to be their Final Fantasy world. It doesn't look anything like their Final Fantasy world. It looks more like a Kingdom Hearts world. Like, it's a mix between Disney and Final Fantasy. Which, by the way, we need more Final Fantasy elements other than just simply having Cloud come in and having just... Uh, oh, I like you're going to want Kingdom Hearts too because there's no Final Fantasy characters in that game. What? Mm -hmm. Not even Cloud? Yep. Yep, they just get a brief mention. What? Why? I, I, I don't understand. It's, I mean, later on the DLC will show up. Oh, 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 all right. I don't, I don't go with something. Wow, man. I mean, granted, the DLC will show up worth the 50 bucks. Uh, I think you have to get a harder bosses and want to just a lot more additional content to the game. Alright, sure, I guess. Are we doing the DLC for Kingdom Hearts 3 when we get there? Yep. <sighs> Alright. We need a guy fast forward the rest of the credits to the season. Oh, thank you. Okay, here we go. Uh, how did we do this again? What were my thoughts again on this? Oh, yeah, this was, uh, this was added in Final oh, Remix, right? This was not here originally? No, this was here originally. Okay, so even, even back then, they knew. They knew. This wasn't gonna just stop at one. They knew. <laughs> well, yeah, they got Disney, and it's like, oh, I'm gonna make a fighting up for your book. Oh my god. Ah, that's okay. Uh, so, it'll be 24 hours to collaborate on the one we get with Adventure Time. Give you this one. Mmm, I see. I know you hate Adventure Time. I, I, my, I also am probably being a little bit mean to Adventure Time as well. I, I never gave it an, a fair shot. The only time I watched it was when it first came out, I saw the pilot episode, of quote unquote, the pilot episode. It was the first episode, I wanted to give it a shot, because it looked kind of cool. And then, since every episode in Adventure Time worked very similar to many other cartoon shows where they had two stories. They have Story A and Story B. Story A was like Princess Bubblegum having a party and stuff like that, and the whole, like, don't tell a secret thing, stuff like that, and that little thing. Yeah, that's a simple lesson. 
And then there was, uh... Oh, wait, hang on. <laughs> uh, the, the, you know, that's here. Just finish the cutscene! I live in the gameplay! Yay! Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, and remember, Sora, you are the one who will open the door to light. Uh, is that it? Okay, it's sure. Alright, you hit it all in the door. Oh, here's the secret ending. Oh, what's the secret ending? I can't see. There we go. Okay. Uh, we are playing the other Special, Special secret. secret. Another side. Another story. Oh, yeah, that's right. This part. This is this is more Final Fantasy S. Okay, yep. Yep, this is. This will also pop up in 358 after the first game. Okay. <laughs> Why do you look so angry? I know it's going to be a while until we get to that point. He's like, I'll remember this. I think, anyway. Oh, that's a cool looking heartless design, by the way. I, I love how they look there. Oh, they look so cool. Regular. Hey, you see the game where you actually do get to fight them. Oh, right, heck yeah. Because this cool. You know the reason I'm back to the final level of Alright. But I've seen that world before. That was in a that was in a Final Fantasy level. That's a that's a Final Fantasy world. Uh, well, that's kind of that's gonna be cool. So they're basically spoiling Final Fantasy two here. Where's Sora? Oh, oh. It's a, it's a Japanese oh the, 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 no, no, that makes sense because it was originally a Japanese game. Because like I mean, obviously, yeah, it, of course it was. They're like, ah, oh, it's so cool though. It was like, I don't think. It's I, mean, I thought I thought it was also like some other languages in there. I think I saw. He'll be there soon, don't worry. Huh? Anyway, this is where I will cut off and I will just like do the rest of the uh like dialogue here with the secret bosses and stuff like that, because this is where I think we will part ways until we meet back at the king at the <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. I'll meet you at... I will meet you. At Dynasty Warrior Gundam! Alright, see you there. Peace.